everyone, my name is Uh Oh, and today, today we're playing more Payday 2. I'm joined by two people this time, the one and only Laws dude, and of course, Ness of Ness and Friends. You're probably familiar with him if you've watched my other Payday videos. Um, if my voice sounds a bit raspy, I'm sorry, I've got a cold right now, so, you know, fun. How are you guys doing? I'm just getting over my death flu. You gave it to me. You passed it through the internet to me. Good. Oh. This was all a conspiracy by Lars to infect me and ruin this video. Mm hmm. Is it working yet? Um, not really. Not yet. But it I'll probably try harder. will somehow. I have no doubts. I'll just have to try harder. So, this is the new heist, isn't it? Uh, First World Bank? Eh, it's a remake from the first game, but it's one of the classics. You can stealth it now. It's ste stealthable, has more variability. I, I can't speak. I, I think it's the map is more randomized with furniture and whatnot. Yeah, vault can be on the right instead of the left. Yeah. Interesting. Inter is this? I think this might have been the first um, payday, the heist heist that I did. Correct? Yeah. This was definitely the first one that I did. I did this one solo first, and then I think I might have done it once with Killian. All right. The well. Oh yeah, but I definitely recognize this now. The only other one that I remember from Payday the Heist is the Left 4 Dead one. Who is this? General Duro Volcar Solidus. It's Solidus. It's General Solidus. Solidus? Yeah, What's General Solidus is out here. Is he out being awful? Probably. Oh my goodness, I just walked past a guard and did not get instantly made. Are we stealthing this? Uh, no. No, we're just... Probably not. Oh my goodness! This is crazy! Well, yes, we're not stealthing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna walk as far as I can without putting my mask on. I almost got all the way to the uh, bank manager without masking up or being caught. Uh, okay, let's do this! <laughs> and I'm about as subtle as a... A lesso concert. Come on, Ramblers, let's get rambling. All right, Ramblers, let's get rambling. Looks like the bank manager is going to be downstairs. Lars still probably doesn't know that quote. What? Let's, Come on, Ramblers, let's get, rambling. let's get rambling. I know Bane says it, but it's also from something else entirely. You need to watch Reservoir Dogs, man. Come on. Yeah, Reservoir Dogs. It's a Dogs. classic. I also need to watch Back to the Future, because today, today? is the... Uh, well, it's, it's, hover, it's hoverboard day. Well, at the time of recording, it's hoverboard day. At the time of posting, probably not. But yeah, yeah we're in the future now, which I find to be fascinating. <laughs> Actually, if you think about it, I know vaguely the plot to the Back to the Future. Uh, Marty McFly changes everything when he goes back, doesn't he? Oh uh, yeah, he changes the future by going back to the past, and then he like he uh, he sings the he sings some rock and roll songs that hadn't been written yet and yeah. whatnot. So he changes the future. So it's probably because of him that we don't actually have hoverboards. God damn it, Marty! Well, the thing is... Um, because because he sang those excellent rock and roll songs on stage, it shifted the entire world's focus. Because in, in the alternate future, everyone was all skateboarding. They were all wearing you know, well, skateboardy you're mis gear. You're mistaking one thing. For one, he's not from 2015. He actually travels wait, forward wait, wait, to 2015. Wait, 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 wait. I know. Uh, I was about to say... Uh, I have a couple skills. I just don't have it silenced, but I have the quicker drilling skill. So when he came, so no, it wouldn't have changed the timeline because the second movie he travels to 2015. So if anything, him introducing rock and roll earlier, or like you know, in human history, led to the hoverboard getting created faster. That's my Not really. Theory at least. Because then people shifted their attention away from skateboarding and towards rock and roll. But in the actual like movie. Like in the chronological order of the movie, he goes back in time, changes the past, goes back to the present, then goes to the future, and the hoverboards are there. Dozy those. Well, dozy those is history. So, if anything, him doing the rock and roll actually caused the hoverboards. That's why we don't have them in real life. That That's my theory. This is why I need to watch the movie. You really do. <laughs> it's a classic, man. It's Instead of just talking about it. 
It is a classic. I'm surprised you haven't watched it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. There's a whole bunch of them that I haven't seen. Okay, the Brenner is definitely buggy with the bipod. Man, I told what? you to be careful. I told you to be careful with that. Like, I'm trying to set it up, and two out of three times, it makes the animation as if I'm setting up, but then it actually doesn't. Yeah, well, we have to get rid of the magnetic lock on the... Alright, I'll hold down the vault. Alright, I guess. Uh-oh, come here. On my way. So, um... Do you think we'll ever have a hoverboard? I know we're kind of starting to make them, but they're really, you know, weak. I'll go save Dallas. What do you need me to do? Uh, I got Just him. cover that computer. <laughs> Alright. Do you think we'll actually have a real hoverboard? I mean, we don't have flying cars, and that was also predicted. There actually are prototypes for hoverboards, but they only work on specific surfaces. We have, like, maglevs and stuff. Yeah. Well, there's one that's... Uh, I don't know the physics behind it, but it works with dry ice. That uh, it operates on top of any kind of metallic surface. That sounds amazing. Concrete. And uh, there's actually Tony Hawk was brought in. I can't remember who made it. I want to say it was Lexus. It was some car company that's doing it. Um, and they brought in Tony Hawk to test it out, and it has no traction. Dude, that like, sounds fantastic. Where like is there's this? a whole there's a whole science behind skateboarding. You know the wheels. Like whenever skaters customize their boards, everything from the the black grip on top of it to the wheels to how tight the screws are, everything affects how the skateboard operates. So when you have a hoverboard with absolutely zero traction to the ground beneath it, it just doesn't work. Yeah, I don't care. Slide though. around I still want my hoverboard. So. Okay. Uh, um, I guess run back to the vault. Uh oh. The computer's done in five seconds. All right. I don't care if it doesn't have any traction or if it doesn't work. I still want it just as a novelty. Well, they have it. You can. I guess, I don't know if you can buy one. For several billion dollars, I can have one right now. <clears throat> For however much it costs them to build the prototypes, you can probably buy an older model. It looks like a hoverboard. Like, it's, it, since it, like I said, it uses dry ice in one of the components, so it has mist coming off of it. Today has literally just been non-stop Back to the Future references, too. Like everyone who's anyone has been referencing that, that movie. I don't know, I haven't heard my dad do it. But then again, I don't hear my dad. Wow. I, I haven't even seen the music, or ugh, I haven't even seen the movie. Uh, the music. That is true. I don't know, I saw it when I was like five, I guess. To be honest, I, guess, I like I the, mean, the first one better, but I'm not sure if I'm in a minority there. I don't know. One less cloaker in the world. Okay, drill's done. Let's go. Ah, oh, shields! No! I'm out of stamina! Oh! That was an interesting okay. line from Jacket. Yeah, I know. Why do you say do you feedback say? from security forces? Acoustic feedback suggests a present, an enemy presence in the nearby building, which basically said I hear cops up ahead. Fun. That's which, why I'm. That's why my theory about jacket is there's uh, heisting 101 by Bane. <laughs> like he hired, like he hired a flight attendant to do it. Oh, I remember this. Sister we don't know about. I remember this room. This is the death room, isn't it? Yeah. Well, for the cops. The line of death where all the cops die. Hey, do we need a key card for anything at this point? Stealth. That's stealth only, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's stealth only. There's two, two key, key cards, cards in this booth right here. Yeah, there are two key cards. You have to put one in right here. Like right behind you, there's a thing. So and what's then it? right in front. What's what? inside the vault? Is it gold or money? Oh, there's up to four bulldozers, and then on top of that, there's like 12 bags of cash. There's a bulldozer waiting in there. Oh, god fucking damn it. We're up screwed. to four of them. Four of them? Are you fucking kidding? Hey, I've had to deal with this all day on Deathwish. I'm not sure what it is on. 
I'm not sure what it is on Overkill, oh, but on Death the Wish, there's four of them. Oh, okay. I just had Ninja Cop drop down on top of me. He just fell out of the fucking ceiling, like swinging like wow, a madman. Yeah. yeah, that happens. I pretty much have this hallway covered unless a shield pops up. There's a taser at the very end of it, though. Ah, my mind is my mind is playing tricks on me. I swear I thought I heard the thermal drill jam. It's schizophrenia. <laughs> oh yeah, I have been skipping my meds. Oops. That's what it is. You're hallucinating the drill jamming. It's that it's that repulsive to you. And I'm not even the technician, and I'm having that. Think about how I'm, what I'm having. I'm literally seeing the drill jam right now. Out of the corner of my eye, somehow. 